bitches wish they get into that <laughs> family. Uh. Yes, I know so. Is my shirt okay? Weapon, mi gente, is your boy Dr. Kizomba, and this is the Dr. Kizomba Show. How you doing? How you, how you doing today, my people? It's your boy Dr. Kizomba right here, and we got hot topics like usual. You know what I'm talking about. I hope you're doing fine. 
because today i'm not even gonna look at the comments just yet but i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of what we got today the show is the head floating okay the head float right here the head float right there is your boy dr kizomba right here for you all right we're gonna offer you guys a nice show so that that way you guys can feel good the next time you see us okay now how you doing today the song of the day is called ndoto by bella chicola my people okay so blow this shit up jp while the head floats outside of you Zaga daga ding 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 Where? What's up, my people? How you doing today? It's your boy, Dr. Kizomba. You already know we're in this thing like uh, anybody else. Uh, today, we're going to have a, a, a nice topic. You know I'm talking about. We're going to have a nice topic, and we're going to take it easy today. Because today, you already know, it's, it's, it's close to summertime. Are we in summertime, or are we not in summertime yet? All right? Are we in summertime or are we not in summertime yet? The question is yours. All right, now, let me go right here to the page, Dr. Kizomba, and, and welcome you guys already, you know. I'm going to be charging my phone in and out, but you already know this is just your boy, Dr. Kizomba. Today, we have an important topic. Yes, now is good, JP, but JP, go back and see what, what you just did. All right, so, <laughs> JP, JP, I don't know what's going on, but, but look, uh, I the TV just look at TV hey <laughs> there you go now we have something right here nice to actually uh, talk to you about it we have some great topics today mm hmm yeah we have some great topics today but the topic of the day uh-huh the topic of the day is a little bit yeah as we are just in this thing hold on my people there you go. JP is doing his magic, okay? So, the topic of the day is going to be... Um, 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 taxi dances, okay? So, the topic of the day is going to be taxi dances or Uber dances, okay? So, I don't really want to get into, into the whole, you know, the whole situation of the taxi and the Uber dancing situation because to be... Honest, I have my personal opinions about things. But let me go to the Dr. Kizomba, all right, so that that way I can see some comments and I can actually welcome some people. But I cannot find the Dr. Kizomba because I don't know if we're live or not. Okay, but we... Yeah. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. YouTube people, how you doing? It's your boy, Dr. Kizomba, and welcome... And welcome to the show. Now we magically live on Facebook as well. Facebook people, how you doing? We welcome the show. JP, drop the beat, drop the music so that that way the people can actually hit the music. Hit it, hit it. No, 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 my brother. My son, my son. He got it, my son. Yeah. JP, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, mi gente? How you doing today? It's your boy, Manuel Unapologetic, motherfucker. You already know. Welcome to the Dr. Kizomba Show. 
right here right now my people the topic is gonna be simple okay the topic is not gonna be too much we're not gonna go into it but we're gonna go into it because you know i always got the teacup so that that way we can talk about this situation right here but before that i will have a sip of yay yogurt because you know how a yay yogurt is the is, is the coffee of the day and 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 we already have the team right here bringing all right there you go muchas gracias okay coffee coffee mm mm Ooh. all right my people let me click on this video so that that way i can i can oh let me shut up right now oh la la a lot of hot topics today because this weekend actually i was in toronto and then i was in montreal and then i was in toronto again all right stephanie kizomba what's up girl how you doing Pio Kizomba, Stephanie. Hey, hey. All right. Kenny, what's up, Kenny? I saw you today. What's going on? Kenny's waiting for some hot topics. Hey, hey. How you doing? All right. So, um... We also have right now, right here, um, let me see. Uh, we have Sara, Sara, say hey, hey, hey. Carolina, Carolina, what's up? What's up, Dr. Kizombinho? <laughs> Saludos from Barcelona. Okay, Barcelona, hey, hey. All right, so my people, Junski, right now. What's up, Junski? We know you outside of the country. Hey, hey. All right, so Teresa, what's up, Teresa? How you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> so, so, yeah, Stefan on YouTube sending yo. Carl Stefan, my brother. Hey, hey. We see you, my brother. There you go. Yeah, Shilpa, hugs to you too. June, you got your popcorn. All right. So, Eddie Alejandro Valesquez, that's my boy. Que pasa, mi gente? You already know. Your fashionista, Dr. Kizombi, is in the building. Hey, hey. It's summertime. Hey, hey. Dr. Kizomba show. Hey, hey. We're going to talk shit. Hey, hey. Hey. All right, so let's go, my people. Teresa, doing good. That's very important, Teresa, doing good. We already reached 40 viewers right now, my people. Muchas gracias for the Dr. Kizomba Show. Okay, JP, drop the drop the topic, drop the topic, drop the topic right now. Hi from Boston. Hey, Krista. Hey, hey. Yus, <laughs> what's up, my brother Yus? Yo, bro. Um... So what about Ubers? Uber dancer, Uber dancer too, JP. Uber dancer too. Hey, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Stephanie, hey Manuel, it was nice seeing you Saturday in Toronto tradition too. Hey, hey, we were chilling. Hey, hey, my girl, I saw you having that Russian for 15 minutes. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna tell nobody, okay? That just between you and me. Hey, hey. All right. So they. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so okay 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 Eddie your popcorn ready okay there you go boom fire boom fire boom fire okay so now here we go okay you know what let's let let's start right now taxi dances do you really need them okay First of all, what, what's a taxi dancer? For the people that don't know what's a taxi dancer, right here on the Dr. Kizomba, we're going to describe. Taxi dancer, yeah, taxi dancers right here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Let me say, <laughs> those, uh, those right there are your taxi dancers right now. Look at these motherfuckers right here. This is the taxi dancers right now. If you uh, ever saw uh, a taxi, they look exactly like... <laughs> it's the Dr. Kizomba show. So we're going to talk about taxi dancers. Those are taxis, basically, that are on the dance floor. Basically, people that go and in uh, supposed to enhance the dance floor. When motherfuckers are not getting a dance, they are the taxi dancers that come and dance with the people that are not having a dance. Uh, uh, make sure that that uh, lady that is on the corner that don't dance with everybody or the instructors don't want to dance with her because she's not even pum pum or, or you know or she's not you know um basically um uh, don't know the choreography right now that is going on in the dance or she basically is a new dancer so the job of the taxi dancers is to dance with the unhealthy uh, well uh, unhappy people on the dance floor so therefore they hire people and the taxi dancers usually they come for free on the dance floor uh, they don't pay for the night because they're doing a service of taxi taxi is like go ahead pick up and if the lady asks you to dance you cannot say no 
no you just gotta say yes but you know and you gotta well i don't even know how many dancers they supposed to be dancing with one person so what is the job of the taxi dancers on the floor people ask for taxi dancers so that that way the taxi dancers can go ahead and uh, have uh, um you know have free passes on the congress yes i said it because people hear it do you have a link of taxi dancers open i want to be a taxi dancer of your event and i'm like what 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 okay so now do we really need the taxi dancers or not that's the question of the day so tell me about it i just gave you a quick description of what's a taxi dancer taxi dancer is a motherfucker that basically knows how to dance or i don't know if he really need to know how to dance to be a taxi dancer but they basically go ahead in congresses and parties and they have a, a, a shirt like this one right here okay they have a shirt like this one right here that say taxi and right now they change the name right now they're calling uber dancers too so they have a shirt that say taxi or uber dancers really on the dance floor uber dancers so that means that the girls that are usually don't get a dance they can dance with these individuals right here they can be coming shapes of male or coming shapes of female and depending they can be attractive or unattractive it depending they can be let me shut up because i don't want people to sue me all right so now uh do we really need a taxi dancer that's really the question right now uh right here do we need beyonce dancers because now on the doctor is on but we're gonna call taxi dancers the beyonces all right the beyonces on the dance floor okay so do we really need them uber dancers oh okay marcos gonzalez just say uber dancers do we really need them or not all right so um maria jose um what's up Maria, um, I am French Canadian but lives in uh, CA and training with Tyler and Misha. Hi Maria, how you doing? You training with my kids? Bella, ha 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 tell it free yes taxi dancers and there's one more thing about taxi taxi dancers i went to congresses and taxi dancers um were doing tarashina with one girl for over 15 minutes i mean i'm gonna hire a nigga to come to my congress and dance for free for the girls and he's gonna choose the hardest girls in the in the party to dance with them and don't dance with the unharder girls at the party and basically give them tarashina all this time and we don't know what happened in closed doors because taxi dancers they possess something that the taxi do uh, dancing mm. as i'm sipping my coffee and looking at this i'm just gonna tell you one thing uh taxi dancers do we really need them or do we don't need them what's the thing with the taxi dancers as i continue reading my problem my, my comments right here elizabeth boston say last couple festivals i've been as seen <laughs> i've never seen any taxis okay Elizabeth see the the disappearing of taxi dancers. So this is the era where taxi dancers are disappearing in Elizabeth's eyes. Pose ha 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 ha. Semba kiss ha. Elizabeth say if they are um if they are I don't get to dance with them. Oh shit. Okay, so now this is reappearance of taxi dancers say Elizabeth. So uh if the taxi dancers are they are busy with someone else but not the people that they supposed to be busy with. We're still talking about the taxi dancers right here marcos gonzalez ha ronica what's up all right semba keys ha paola oh oh right okay yeah uber dancers marco gonzalez carlos say do they need to know how to dance that's a big question do the taxi dancers really need to know how to dance or they don't know how to dance because i would not want to have a representative of my congress of party that doesn't know how to dance and possess the name of taxi mm hey but they can bring the girls to the dance floor why not all right he's on a form of taxi ricky el suave what's up all right sara i don't care much for taxi dancers i've never had worse dancers from taxi dancers <laughs> no oh shit sarah 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 just said the she had horrible dances from taxi dancers. Ooh la la, shit is getting hot right now. Ebo, Ebo, what's up, my brother from Ghana? <laughs> I, <w> <laughs> I want a private dancer. Oh shit, that means like uh, not a taxi dancer, but an escort dancer. All right, so <laughs> that's what Ebo say. Maria, don't think we need them. Maria, don't think we need taxi dancers. All right, so uh, <laughs> Maria, great. 
Great Maria. All right. Krishna, never dance with one. They don't ask me. Oh, shit. They don't ask Krishna. The taxi dancers don't ask Krista to, to, from Boston to dance with them. So, Beyonce dances. What the heck you really doing? This is crazy. Beyonce, really? Well, you're not helping these taxi guys dancing? Oh, my God. It's the Dr. Kizomba show. All right. So, pose say português, mano. Já sabes. Aqui falo português. Estamos a falar dos taxi dancers. Tem que, uh, precisamos de ou não precisamos deles, ok? Porque há muita gente que está aí a dançar como táxi e está a ser um impostor, ok? So there you go. That was for you, my brother Pose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got 69 viewers right now. Mirta, what's up, my girl? How you doing? Fantastic, all right? So, Bella Maya, how you doing? Fantastic. Marcos Gonzalez, you killing me, bro. Yes, Marcos Gonzalez, you my brother. We talking about taxi dancers. Do we really need Beyonce or we don't need Beyonce? What the fuck is going on? All right, so there you go. Ring the alarm. So, um, Uber select dancers. That's what Carl say. Uber select dancers. Let's select this Uber dancer. JP, I don't know what happened but oh jp select the uber dancer right now all right so yeah marie jose never experienced this anyhow okay she never experienced a dancing with a dance uh, a taxi dancer because i don't know why okay andrea mwah, beijos de portugal como estás mirta bye hey girl hey we on that cardi b shit you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <laughs> hey all right so there you go yeah manuel dos santos is watching i'm here nigga all right so all right no that's my team all right so solange what's up solange ha 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 back all right so there you go sara i have seen taxi dancers dance uh amongst themselves what the fuck all right so now sarah just told them that taxi dancers dance among themselves jp please drop uh, drop ndoto shit Uh, taxi dancers dance by themselves. <laughs> yeah. Ndoto, Ndoto. Ndoto. Bella she cola na casa. Ay. Toma la. Oya. Uh. Are you aware? <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing right now, again, that's a great song. Please, my people, go support this girl. She's amazing. Uh, this is a hit right now. You guys can go to YouTube and please just click Bella Chicola Ndoto. Or you can even go uh, to iTunes and also get that link, Bella Chicola Ndoto. Yeah, she's amazing. An Angolan, Angolan born. She speaks Ndingala very well from Congo as well. So um, go ahead. And this is a hit already made it. So you already know. Carl Fukun, just say, um, uh, Tarrasinha Taxi, all right, so, whoo, Tarrasinha Taxi, they going crazy, Ricky, El Suave, what's up, excellent, yeah, 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 there you go, that's the, the that's the name right now, Bella Chicola Ndoto, my people, please, support the artists, because they need your support, here you go, so, um, uh, Ricky, El Suave, the best show on earth, Kizomba Show, you already know, my brother, is the Dr. Kizomba Show, unapologetic motherfuckers in this bitch, all right, so, there you go, Marco, yes, taxi dancers should definitely have some experience in dancing. All right, the taxi dancers should have some experience in dancing, but a lot of these motherfuckers don't. Mm. I start just saying. All right, so there you go. <laughs> we go. We got uh, Eddie Alejandro. Depends on the event. Uh, depends on the event of numbers of people attendances is there a balance between leads and follows organizers need to set expectations for taxi dances if they are in attendance oh shit depends on the event like a big event where there's a lot of motherfuckers that's when the taxi dancers do their most damage they attack this event so that that way they can dance with the people that actually are not getting that tarashinha but the taxi dancers obviously don't because they don't dance with the people that they're supposed to dance or sometimes they are dancing by themselves or sometimes they are dancing with um someone else that they wanna 
All right, so there you go. Carl Tarracinha Taxi, crazy. All right, uh, Carl Tar Tim just said that. Carl said Tarracinha Taxi, let me help you out, Kim, uh, Tim, on, on this comment right here because that was idea for the taxi dancer on this program. So Tarracinha Taxis are basically, a lot of the taxi dancers spend a lot of time doing Tarracinha with the girls, all right, instead of doing any step. We know, some of them know how to dance, but they instead do Tarracinha. Facts. Hashtag. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. So, um, Sabin just said something in French. All right. So, JP, you got that? Yeah. Yeah. Non les taxis dans ce. Oh, exactement. Ouais. On, on y va. Fin la treize, je vais inviter l'impossible comme le temps de temps avec même fait. Oh shit! Uh, JP, uh, let's translate that right, right now, right here for the people. They choose people before, the, be, before they invite. It's impossible to dance with. When they dance, they only reach for the same girl. Thank you so much, Sabine. And Sabine, that was a message right there that the taxi dancers basically do. They only go for the same girl because if you don't have that booty or you don't have that look or basically you're not uh, influential, the taxi dancers are going to skip you. And it's impossible to dance with them because they already come with a status that they're not supposed to have at the festivals. All right, that was in France. Hey, all right, thank you so much, Sabine. That was very nice. Ebo, uh, Ebo um, is right. If people want a taxi, they should just hire a private, unlike they do in Tango. You, <laughs> you then get what you pay for. Oh, shit. All right, so now taxi dancers uh, are escort dancers, like they do in Tango. JP, they do that shit in Tango too? Shit, my nigga. All right, so in tango, what they do, they hire someone and you can dance with you all night. And that person can, cannot dance with anyone but yourself, right, JP? Oh, that person cannot dance with anyone but themselves because they're paying for it. All right, if you want a taxi dancer, pay for it. All right, so there you go. Uh, Elizabeth won. Boston. When to a social, they are past. Uh, they are past me. Stood there thirty minutes, and they choose girls next to me. Oh shit! They pass Elizabeth. They forget Elizabeth, and they choose girls next to Elizabeth. And that's a fact right now. Elizabeth, please be specific on what city these taxi dancers are for, so that that way we can put them on blast on Doctor Kizomba show. All right. So <laughs> there you go. All right, so Nadina, um, I just started watching your lives and you are hilarious, dancing and comedy. I love it. Thank you so much, Nadina. Muchas gracias, Dr. Kizomba show right here for you. It's not only about me on my show. Of course, I have the team right here with me. You know, I'm talking about this why people don't leave me alone. They wake me up on time so that that way I can be right here on time. And let me tell you one thing. Without them, this show is not possible. All these cameras and the Beyonce right here next to me with this taxi outfit and all this green screen behind my back would not be possible without the white people so give it up for my white people and i really love them okay so remember that girl all right so i'm just being myself but they make me be myself without them this show is not possible. So you got to respect white people, motherfuckers, right there. Don't be disrespecting white people. That, but that wedding was some bullshit. All right. I didn't saw that motherfucker. They let the old black woman sitting by herself. Royalty, royalty, my fucking ass. Anyway, that girl. All right. So let me not, not start with that. But she... I never know that she was black. Everybody talking about shit about that girl, man. Like I never know that she was black. Only right now, apparently, she black because her mama black, but she not. Well, let me shut up, I mean, because you guys on the conception of black is being changing right now. I never know when she was in suits, right? I never know that she was black, but right now she's black. And then all oh, the you saw the priest. The priest was talking shit, man. I didn't want to watch the show, but I watched that priest talking about Martin Luther King in front of the phone. Okay. Yo, man, that was gangster. Let me shut up. Let me fucking shut up and continue doing my show. Hmm. Teresa, instead of getting taxi dancers, organizers should focus more on how to bring simple 
and more male dancers and normal attendees. Boom! All right, so I love this girl. Teresa, Teresa Tavares Mendes, all right? That's my Victor brother right there. That's my Victor uh, brother, his wife right there. She was really right about that. She hit the now. JP, let's put this comment right there so that we can repeat to these motherfuckers right now. All right, so Teresa Tavares Mendes, she said, instead of getting taxi dancers, over organizers should focus more on how to bring simple and more male dancers huh? and normal attendees we, as normal attendees they can come into this motherfucker so that everybody can have a fucking normal dance what the fuck is wrong with you man hey anyway girl 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 you know what i'm saying huh? let me sip my uh, mm -hmm. mm. Samba qui c'est en français, pour dire qui, pour dire par qui, on y va mon gars. Moi déjà fait la translation ou quelque chose, traduction de cette merde là. Ok, on y va. Yeah, so, translation JP. Alright, so, there you go. Yo, hum. Harvey, hello from Bahia, Brazil. Just found out Kizomba is getting big in Bahia. Yes, my brother, Kizomba is getting big everywhere, my brother, everywhere. We got this Kizomba thing on lock. What my people? So there you go. That's my brother, Harvey, right there. Haiti, sac passé. My, um, you know, Maestro Leconte. All right. You already know how be the STM dancer <laughs> come to see me my people Manuel knows all right so STM dancer means uh, metro dancer and that's my brother right there uh, oh that's my brother from Montreal uh Tim what's up um by the way Boston had taxi dancers oh shit Tim you try to put Boston on blast, my people. You try to put Boston on blast right now, okay? So Boston and Taxi Dance, I per, per, particularly, I didn't saw them. I was busy dancing with people, really, though. Like, for real, man. I, yeah, if they had, I don't know, man. I couldn't find the difference. All right, so there you go. Rudy Suave, how you doing? Most can dance to this. Most can dance to this. All right, most can dance to this. I don't know what my brother Rudy's refers to. Remind me of that. Tim said, um, they weren't obvious though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't obvious though. Okay, yeah. They weren't obvious. Like that. Like I told you, Tim, these motherfuckers were not obvious because I didn't saw them too. You were nowhere to be found. All right, so uh, yeah. Marie, love that song. I love that song too. JP, play that song for Marie right now. Ndoto. Ah, shit. Look at the name right here. The name's gonna appear magically right here. Ndoto, my people. Ndoto, 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 Ndoto. Bella Chicola. Angola na casa, filha da Goda. Ndengala. Are you when Doto? That's my brother Duzangado that hooked me up with that song. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, peso. Man, uh, mano, me envia o nome desse som. Olha, o nome já estava ali embaixo, ok? Yeah, yeah. Um, JPE say Beyonce fans are offended though. All right, Queen B. <laughs> Queen B, no, Queen B is not Queen B. I'm a Ray Ray guy, all right? I'm a Queen Ray Ray, man. Beyonce was, was, was set up. She was put in there. I'm a Rihanna fan. Rihanna is the shit, nigga. Ah, uh, that bleach ass girl. Get out of here. All right, I said it. <laughs> I mean, Charlemagne the God, you too. <laughs> all right, so there you go. Tarashi in a taxi. Well, that's what they do. Yeah, na Nancy. Nancy says something. Nancy, hey, Dr. Kizomba. Nancy De Santos, Dance Carolina. Love Ailey Morrison as her dancers. They are five, six, seven, eight. Her happy dancing feet. Hey. Okay, so <laughs> now we. <laughs> Now, now we have a message from JP on this thing. Let's trash the taxi dancers right now. And some taxis are crashing into... <laughs> ah! 
oh, there's a lot into that picture, all right? There's a lot into that picture. That's like the Charles Gambino song, okay? There's a lot into that picture about taxi dancers. Please pay attention so that you can see while I'm finishing reading that. Carl, talking shit. No, I'm not talking shit. Stacy, what's up? Stacy, what's up? JP, I don't know if we froze or we good, but I think we're good. My phone, my phone just froze, probably. Let me see. Okay, I still have nine. All right, so there you go. Um, yeah. Ooh, la la. Man, there's a lot. Jesus Christ. Man, I think I lost everything. Now, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to. Yeah, I'm gonna go, go back to all the comments really soon. But now let me just give you guys my two cents in this thing, okay? Before we 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 get off the picture right here. Hold on a second. Now my people, yeah, yeah. Now my people, here we go. I'm gonna get to all these comments because there's a lot of comments. But now is the time for me to explain you something. Ah. Now, um, as a doctor Kizomba, we have an event called Jindungu. Jindungo is an event that basically is right here in Montreal, and uh, we do it uh, at the time when Montreal is 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 actually getting to is getting to spring right here, and uh, basically Jindungo is the festival where people actually come. And one guy one day sent me a message. Yo, yes, yo, Manuel, do you do taxi dances? I'm like, no, of course we don't do taxi dances because most of my crowd is basically a crowd that most of my students, right, the students that I teach right here in Montreal, they are used to, they are used to dance with people. They are used to dance, asking the girls to dance. They have the flow of... Um, of basically of uh, old school flow because i'm manuel dos santos i'm from 1983 if you don't know that era is like where the bmx bandits came all right so bandits of bmx that was nicole kidman at the time i'm a skateboarder motherfucker so i'm from the time where we call it the coke cocaine era where coca-cola possessed cocaine yes motherfuckers i'm talking about the right era right there no where the real motherfuckers were like so you don't dance to the with the daughter you dance with the mother first all right you never go ahead and ask the hardest girl out to dance directly no you gotta get through her friends get the approval first and then you go ahead and you dance with that girl i'm from the era where basically motherfuckers were dancing because of the love of the dance motherfuckers will learn how to sing the motherfucking music motherfuckers will fall in love with the dance with the step with the skills with the emotion with the music with the harmony you see a motherfucker on the corner and he's just vibing and he's actually feeling the song because the DJ was a real DJ at the time but right now what I'm trying to do I'm trying to bring you know back to future I'm trying to bring the past into the future and the only place that I can do that is at Kizomba Canada Kizomba Canada that CA is basically the company where we actually teach people how to dance Semba Kizomba and Kuduro as an harmonic way Mondays Tuesdays and Wednesdays Saturdays in Laval in a closed city right here 15 minutes away from Montreal but you guys already gonna know and you're gonna see if you guys follow mom, your boy dr kizomba you're gonna be able to see so basically what i'm trying to say my students they learn how to dance with everybody and they learn not to give the attention to the girls because of their looks because if you give an attention to the girl because of how she look her booty is big and shit like that so that girl basically is never gonna really focus on the dance because every every, every time that she goes to the dance floor people gonna ask her to dance so she never gonna focus on dancing good and and she gonna think that she's good so her attitude is gonna change and she's gonna try to start teaching people how to dance for her better feeling aka let me explain you this part right now for her better feeling what's her better feeling her better feeling is like she's gonna come to the dance floor okay with an attitude like that people need to please her and then everybody gonna dance with her 
and she's gonna dance with some people that actually can maneuver her well and she will expect everybody to maneuver her well that way so therefore when a motherfucker gonna dance with her she's gonna have expectations expectations is a good restaurant in montreal it's just right here on saint catherine i'm talking about expectations okay eggs so there you go so never do that when you organize a festival or when you organize a congress you cannot have people uh coming to your congress with expectations of dancing with the people on the dance floor no the the, the dance floor gotta be a ceremonial place a roller coast motherfucking eight infinity where everybody dance with everybody people that is sitting down make other people feel good stand up mothers dance with sons son dance with grandma anyway people already are in the harmonic way because they already they don't know each other but at that moment they forgot their time their space their whereabouts what they do for work they just want to have a good time and mix it up with a little bit of drinks right there these people are going to be fantastically well and they're going to have um a harmonic, uh, you know, a harmonic environment so that that way is an atomic bomb explosion of flowers and nice stuff. Make sure they smell good though. But anyway, that's another topic. Now, going back to Jindungo, that's what we provide on Jindungo. On Jindungo, people been commenting that, okay, I had the best dances of my life with people that I don't really know. People come and they already smiling at the girl, all right, before they dancing with the girl. They do a beautiful smile and the girl is already amazed, all right? So if even girls dance with girls when they see a girl on the corner that didn't have a, a good dance because they already come from the Dr. Kizomba school, aka Kizomba Canada, the real motherfuckers. What we're teaching right here is not attitudes because my best student, I treat him like my worst student and my worst student, I'm treating like my best student and I tell them, your position is not permanent, it's fucking temporary because when you stop working, another people going to take your place and they compete every single class so that that way they have new winners and when they go to a home they take the dance serious and they go like a homework so when it comes to an event they want to have the same reputation they want all the girls to talk good about them to say that they dance good and they dance good and they dance good and their reputation built on that at Kizomba Canada I cannot talk about another motherfuckers because that has nothing to do with me so no to taxi dancers I'm not gonna be right here talking about oh no you come no I told that dude no we don't we don't we, we don't invite taxi dancers on that culture because you don't learn from me I don't know your habits I don't know if you like white, black, green girls, uh, Chinese, Albino. I don't know what the fuck you like. Do you understand, right? Hey, yeah. So I don't know what, why you really doing the taxi dances. Is so that that way you can have an identity? So that that way people can see you, you are a member of something, but you don't even know the where, where's about of my company. And my students, they don't even go around and say that they're my students. They just come and you see how they move. The girl's going to dance with them and they know, oh, this nigga have a doctor, he's open feeling with it cool motherfucker always smiling and make sure that the girls are laughing and when they make a mistake smile about it and just keep on dancing you know i'm talking about nothing personal nothing serious take the dance to another level but don't take the dance professionally makes sense right on the dance floor but when a motherfucker go on stage or when i'm gonna do a performance trust me i'm gonna put niggas aside they already know hey all right so now when it comes to that taxi dancers I'm telling you, that's a no, no, no. Why? Because people that come with expectations on dancing and the people is actually not dancing with people. And a lot of them don't even have great skills. A lot of them are not even good. A lot of them form teams. And I went to Europe and I saw really what motherfucking taxi dancers do, all right? It was nothing but bang, 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 bang boom, all right? So there you go. After the night, you know, you go ahead, you go like, like you spend 15 minutes on the dance floor and and then whoop -la -la, up the hotel room. I'm saying, yo, is the Dr. Kizomba, I'm an apologetic motherfucker. So that just gives you a, an identity so that you just go and look for the harder girls and give a tarashinha to the girls all the time so how the heck do you want me to have someone like that on my festival and what the heck are the guys doing like um 
like the girl said right there uh, uh what the heck are, are the, the 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 girls doing right or the guys doing on the dance floor that they pay for their passes to come and have a good time well you're gonna stand on the wall and you're not gonna dance and you're gonna let another nigga come and dance with the girls out there so why you really come to the festival really though you come to the festival to do what to dance with people or you come to the festival to look good some people do try to come to look good or think that they're good enough to dance with the other girls no boo boo not a jindungo and not at my dance school right here everybody come to dance with everybody if you see one girl i apply a rule yes i did a dictator motherfucker my girls don't dance with you more than two or three songs why because that has nothing to do with them because when the songs go up to the third number no nigga she's already feeling your diesel and what, what kind of dancing your moves don't go up to the three songs all right your your mind is not that gorgeous because I already know how you act. You don't have a gorgeous uh, brain activity. And how do you think that you're going to remember these mad steps without repeating? No, boo boo. So go and get a new girl. And the girl will tap you on the shoulder and remind you, dude, we're here to dancing. And you're going to get mad, my nigga. No, they come from a dance school. A dance school. Not a hookup place for motherfuckers to come and be dancing with people. Okay? So this is my two cents because I'm a dancer I'm not here a taxi dancer I'm not here anything else I'm just a dancer that try to make people dance and on the festivals taxi dancers no hell no hell to the fucking no I'm not destroying your business but I think that that's absolute an absurd because they don't go for their best interests and promoters you to you gotta ask this shit you gotta ask this shit right now because it don't make no sense it don't make absolutely no sense because you're promoting more things to happen in congresses people to to get more people peace people to dance with other ones how about the taxi dancers take the shirt off all right thank you so much and just dance with every single girl normally and they pay you for their normal passes because they was gonna come to your festival anyway but because you gave them a status or some shit like that now they're not gonna pay the passes but they know that your congress has got girls they know your congress has got people so if they pay for their stuff they can do whatever they want to do but when they see an environment where everybody dances with everybody even the girl that they try to bang the girl be like no i would like to dance with another niggas because you're not the only hot nigga right here all right so then they're gonna check themselves and they're gonna get with the program so the majority when he's doing right the majority the minority blame in and vice versa so basically teach your people what to do and taxi dancers is not an option while jp is dropping ndoto so that you can listen one more time i'm gonna go get the phone and read some comments yeah uh yeah uh yeah uh yeah uh yeah uh Ndoto eh, Ndoto Ah Eh, where? Ah, 94, 94 people watching this JP, we hit our record right now, my people Oh my God Oh shit Oh shit, oh shit, if, if we got to 100, I'm gonna take my shirt off and show me you and show you my mama Africa tattoo right here in this bitch. All right, so there you go, my niggas. Oh, my niggas like, fuck this, I'm out of here. All right, so, <laughs> yo, uh, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let me read some comments, my people. Let me read some comments right here. Oh my God, JP, I think I gotta go somewhere because I cannot see all the comments right now. Oh my comments, I cannot, I cannot see it from my phone. But let me just read some and then get another ones right here. Okay, my people. Ade, Ade Dapo, what's up, my brother? Yeah, this taxi dancer shit is turning a social. Um, uh, accessible dance into the ballroom eliteness dance oh shit all right so yes my people taxi dancers are teaching some other bullshit that has nothing to do with the dance that we do and we love key zomba all right so manuel what's up my brother what's up Connie? how you doing man yeah uh jerry lewis dj metro watching you my brother dj metro in the building hey, yep. all right so there you go carl manuel you were uh, you were too busy dancing with 
with people so you are a taxi dancer in Boston. <laughs> That's car. Yeah, man, I actually was a real taxi dancer in Boston. That's true. No, no. Yeah, let's be real. I um. Hmm. I know there's a lot of festivals that the taxis go just to have fun and don't care about dance with everyone. But we are not all the same. Well, mm, well, no, no, that's my brother. Yes, we will. Um, yeah, well, they, you said there is a lot of festivals, right? The taxis just go and do that, and we were are not all the same. So there is more bad than good. Erase everything, my brother. So yeah, Victor, thank you so much my brother to check uh check your inbox okay i'm gonna check my brother tim every dancer should be a taxi uh have fun dance with anyone where and where everyone dances uh the, yeah the grow then the scene grows exactly tim is right everybody should be a taxi dancer or uber dancer or you should just dance with everybody what the fuck is your problem oh yeah taxis that can drive <laughs> That's Carl. Carl is killing me. Taxis that can drive. There's a lot of taxis that can drive, and that's your taxi dances that you guys are pro promoting right now. Uh, there you go, Eddie. A good taxi know how to um, how to tailor their dance. Um, oh shit! Um, to the person that they are dancing with. Yeah, if they want to dance Tarashinha, uh, then you hit them <laughs> with a Tarashinha weapon. If they want a steps to get <laughs> to the stepping, okay, then then you go. Taxi dancers also provide other services like uh, participating in all levels of workshops to uh, help guide students through instruction. Uh, some taxi dancers also upcoming instructors that have their own students and bring their own students to the event bro you wrote a blog right now bro like eddie really my brother you my nigga but eddie eddie listen listen eddie but wouldn't you just be a normal dancer and do all that can you just be a normal dancer and do all that why are you gonna have the label taxi on you you can be a normal dancer and become an upcoming instructor and still pay for your pass bro why you want to get things for free? I once was a, was a, was a, you call a taxi dancer. Never. I once was a dancer and I had to pay for my dues. And you know what? When you pay for your dues, my brother, you actually, it's like um, you're doing something, you know, but you're paying for it. You know how much is worth it because you work hard for that. So you're not going to expect people to just get that bargain for free. Bro, check the culture. All right. But you're my brother. All right. So there you go. Um, Maria, old flow. Yes. Always, Maria. Old flow. Always old flow. Yeah. So let me get this. Men are too lame. They are incapable to pay for a pass to attend a festival. So they need to hire as taxi dancers to get in for free. Boom. Shit. Lo it's Loana. You the shit. Yeah, niggas broke. Yeah, yeah, niggas are broke. Loana, mwah, you are the shit. Put this shit one more time, JP. Yes, 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 nigga. Yes, nigga. That's what I'm talking about, nigga. All right, I'm going to read one more time this comment right here. Loana, go ahead. So, let me get this. Men are so lame, they are incapable to pay for their pass to attend a festival. So, they need to hype hired as a taxi dancers to get in for free that is absolutely what i'm fucking talking about here all this motherfucking time all right so girl you were the shit girl oh my god you just made my day this is the fucking problem is to pay because anyway what like, like like you're not doing no work the festival is for people to dance with each other and people to come out and actually get their skills why you want to go like, like so why you want to really do that just pay for your fucking pass and have fun and dance with everybody like everybody else so a festival have like 200 taxi dancers let's say so how the fuck the festival gonna pay for itself
There you go. There you go. How the fuck they gonna pay for itself if you have 200 taxi dancers? Girl, I love your comment right now. Jules just dropped KizombaCanada.ca. You already know. Yeah. 100 agree with everyone. Should dance with everyone. You know, Ash Ashley, that's what's up. Ashley Santos in the building. Everybody's supposed to be dancing with everybody and not be going ahead and try to make this thing happen like a roller coaster or some shit. Nah, 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 nah. All right. Bees, 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 bees. JPE, what's up? Yeah, hello from CT. All right, girl. Hello from MTL. All right, so there you go. So, Michael, totally, uh, yeah, my, my brother Michael, totally, I agree 100. 100, my brother. Say no to taxi dancers, motherfuckers. All right, so though, yeah, Haley, uh, yes, make everyone feel welcome on the dance floor. Boom, that's the most important thing. Everybody gotta feel welcome on the dance floor. Every single mother suck. Okay. All right, so there you go. Team, sup, Ailey. Team, go, go send Ailey a personal message. What's wrong with you? Okay, <laughs> five, eight, five, six, seven, yeah. Carl, preach. All right, there you go. In the name of Kizomba Tarasina and Kuduro. Hey, woman. All right, so there you go. Yeah, Ashley, clap, 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 clap for you. That's Africa. Hi. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So, Tim, yes, this is Kizomba. This is motherfucking Kizomba. You already know. All right, so Marie, a woman, infinity on the dance floor. Well said, hermano. Pow. All right, Victor. Pow. All right, Tim, everybody dances with everybody. Jindongo. Uh, you already know. So, yeah, Diana, see some tax are... Act like celebrities. <laughs> some taxi dancers act like celebrities. Oh, well, some dancers, Diana, not even taxi dancers, but some dancers really do act like celebrities, but they forgot when they leave the hotel room or the venue that they're dancing, nobody know them. Facts. All right, so there you go. Yeah, Sara, preach. Oh, you already know. Exactly, Diana. There you go. All right. No, boo-boo. <laughs> 100. You already know. Haley, amen. Hey, I said, hey, woman. Let's stop this man bullshit right now. Belly, pow, huh? pow, pow. Yeah, sing. Well said. Ching, clapping. All right, so there you go, girl. Carl, preach, Carl. How many times you said preach, nigga? All right, so Shika, what up, bro? What's up, girl? How you doing, Shika? Hey, you got to change your partner. Again, so, but then go, Teresa, then, yeah, shots fire. So, Teresa, hey, you know, South Hub, uh, hello. Uh, Carl, ha, ha, ha. Kim Kizomba, looking at you. All right, so, so, uh, from Dr. Salsa, Cuba. Como esta, mi hermano de Cuba? Y tú lo sabes, Cuba. All right, so good channel, bro. You already know, my brother. Next time you are in Texas, we need to do Brotherhood bo uh, Podcast. Let's do the Brotherhood Podcast. I'm going to say some real shit on that motherfucker, my nigga. Invite me next time. You already know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can do live calls too. Call Dr. Kizomba and then we're going to answer you right here. So, June, what about taxi dancers that then correct teach uh the followers rude true story all right so taxi dancers that correct and teach the the dancers on the dance floor well like that goes to everybody everybody that correct and teach dancers on the dance floor there's two things you suck s and you suck something else all right so because first of all you cannot be just correcting stopping people you're supposed to be flowing and make these people feel good not just as a taxi as a dancer uh, overall okay because this taxi business Business is getting on my nerve now okay as a dancing overall you're not supposed to be stopping people and correcting people on the dance floor dance with them have fun with them when they do some crazy shit you know smile about it continue the dance floor continue the dance floor all right so continue the flow continue the flow and when the song is finished thank you hey have a good time and keep everything real don't be stopping people and teach on the dance floor let their teachers do the job someone brought them on the dance floor not you, boo boo. All right, so there you go. So, uh huh. Uh, another one. Yavi, Manolo, dimelo, bro. What's up? <laughs> what about these limousine dancers, though? <laughs> oh, are those the ones feeling hot as fuck with a three piece suit? Oh my god, 
Bro! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we got some limousine dancers, nigga, that, that, that come on the dance floor with suits. And then you'll be like, nigga, we all know you hot. Because, you know, the temperature is fucking hot, all right? So you do one dancing, you sweating as a motherfucker inside. This go to my limousine dancer. Just get the fucking jacket off because dancing with a jacket is fucking dumb, nigga. All right, you don't dance with a jacket. You can do the first dance, the second dance, and then you got to take that jacket out, all right? The suit is fucking made so that that way when you inside an environment, you take the jacket off, boo-boo. Go check why the suit is wet with a t-shirt inside nigga nigga dumb jesus all right so there you go mm -hmm. limousine dancers take your jacket off on the dance floor looking like a fucking like you know sweating like a motherfucker like uh, you <laughs> you in fucking yeah yeah and then you have like uh the, the stain all over right here and shit like that everybody can see you sweat as fuck if you breathe on the side all that garlic coming out the fuck is wrong with you that goes to the limousine dancers that dance with jackets on the dance floor do one or two dances so that you can feel your swag take some pictures then take that motherfucking shit off nigga take that motherfucking shit off you on the dance floor you cannot even lift your arm like this bitch you gotta lift your arm like this because your jacket is too tight and that shit cannot go up look at you like a fucking frog like that <laughs> dancing like all robotic and shit <laughs> <laughs> you already know, man. It's your boy, Dr. Kizomba, unapologetic motherfucker. I say, hey! All right, so there you go. Yeah, that was for you, Yavi. You already know. Let's do this. All right. That's true. Yes, my brother from Cuba. You already know. If people... um. If people just understood that a social dance means everybody is a taxi, Uber, limousine dancers, regardless of your agenda for a ride, there will be no need for this nonsense. Facts. The fact that uh, you have to tell grown ass people in a social sense what dance floor um, etiquette is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, my sister Ruth. It's fucking ridiculous. But we are having dumb niggas coming into this motherfucker. So we got to remind them. That's what the Dr. Kizomba show is here for these niggas. So that these niggas I get a reality check and be actually, oh shit, I didn't know I was doing that. No, boo boo, you actually knew you was doing that. But you chose not to do that, okay? Because you are dumb ass. Bitch. All right, so there you go. Now, there you go. <clears throat> Oof. Uh, uh, Rian LP, some women also have certain skill level. What the fuck? This is not a valid argument. What if they don't come as taxi dancers? Those men are not going to come at all. Whoa! All right. As a matter of fact, like the ladies right now are killing a lot of these motherfuckers. The ladies are having that like, skill wise, you know, because they just not in for the pum pum. Well, some do, but they just not in for the pum pum. The ladies are dancing with other ladies, focusing on the skills. Most of the guys are dancing. These taxi motherfuckers are dancing, focus on the pum pum. So every single move that they do is to make sure that their leg is in between your fucking leg, so your motherfucker. Okay, Kikiriki, aka Clitoris, is on top of their legs and they're rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing until you get hot. This is the facts. This is the fact. Dr. Kizomba, don't lie in this bitch. All right, so there you go, girl. Yeah. Hercules, what's up? All right, so there you go. Suzy Q, keep on doing your Suzy Q, Suzy Q, Suzy Q. Suzy Q. All right, there you go, girl. Salsa. All right, so you know the term. <laughs> wallflowers okay so wallflower <laughs> wallflowers jp what's the term wallflowers yeah i got i got i gotta find out i gotta find out yeah boy free broke all right yeah yeah free broke loana gold all right so there you go <laughs> yeah, there you go. They free and broke. Eh? Uh, so, Nemi, ha 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 ha. Chica, there are some amazing taxi dancers out there. It's a matter of uh, evading them 
correctly and knowing their character. I have taxis on, uh, at my event to balance the ratio and help attendees to have fun. But truly, the ones, okay, the unos, that's ones, right, is uh, on the attendees to make sure they have a good time. Well, Sika, you, well, I don't know if you want to defend your event or you got to work on, on the ratios of your, of, your, of your dancers. You know, I'm talking about the ratios of your dancers on your schools. You want to make sure that you actually, because like the other girl said before, all right, like, let, let me go, uh, like Le Luana said before, there are girls that are killing on the dance floor. There are girls that are killing on the dance floor. Uh, exactly. So uh, if you want a ratio, it's on your building. On your building, build more males and make sure that everybody dances with everybody. Because two or three people can sit down, that's okay. Five people can sit down. But if the dance floor is flowing and everybody is dancing with everybody, we don't need this nonsense. Because it's a nonsense. You know, because everybody's supposed to be dancing with everybody, regardless the ratio. Because if, if you have girls that actually can also lead, you know, the most advanced dancers, after they get to a level, they start leading and following. For real, though. For real. They start leading and following. And if you can balance the ratios, because my girls on my dance team, on my dance floor, they start leading like better than guys, actually. And when they see that there's girls that are not dancing, they take up on the responsibility to go and dance because the ratio mostly not in my, on my school, there's a lot of men. There's a lot of men. But mostly, yes, it's true. I see some other places. There's a lot of girls that actually come and there's less guys. So if you can get your advanced girls to actually start to know the tweak they're even gonna invite more people to come man so this is a little nonsense when it comes to taxi dancers though because these niggas are not really doing the job what they're supposed to do because everybody's supposed to do that job that's the matter of the situation all right girl check this out yeah root there you go if i can just hire someone for the night to dance with me uh, only me I don't need festivals. Do I? No, girl. Yeah. I could just have them come home and dance with me all night. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> Ruth. Oh, my God. Ruth. Yo, Ruth. Ruth, you savage. Yo, Ruth, remind me of, of the Ortiz guy. You remind me of the Ortiz guy. Mwah, I love you, girl. That's my girl. And she can dance good samba, this woman right there. Oh, my God. I danced with her in New York. She's amazing. All right. Better than a lot of motherfuckers out there. All right. So, so they are broke. Want to come for free and expect to dance with the hardest woman at the party. What the fuck? You know, they just having everything. You know, yeah. You want to have everything for free? Everything for free. There you go. Keep on giving them. Yeah. So, sometimes I like the Manolo. That's true. All right. That's my brother from Cuba. You already know. That's messed up. That's messed up, man. Jesus Christ. That's really messed up. All right. So, Shika. All right, Chica's back. All right, Chica. Hi, how you doing, girl? Yeah. Also, attendees want uh, want some amazing dances, and usually with artists, but they are not always accessible. But uh, having two quality dances that are accessible is to help. Like we told you, not all these taxi dances know how to dance good. Not all these motherfuckers are, are know how to dance good. Build your students, woman. What part do you not understand? Build your students. Make them be better. There you go. Again, so. <clears throat> at the double. All right. No more taxes. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Uh, pay for your passes so we can <laughs> keep festivals. Y'all need to be running uh, events, organizing, bro. They are need, uh, uh, they 
pay enough for artists, DJs, and the events. Oh, okay, and the event space. Exactly, man. Man, I just saw an event that happened recently, right? They brought like a lot of people, and they told me that the ratio of the event had less than 200 people. All right. So the if you try to tell me this big festival that just was organized in a hotel, you had to pay the hotel. You had to pay the broad international artists and DJs that you brought, all right? And then you had less than... 200 people in your freaking venue and you gonna make all this money and on top of that you had all these taxi dancers coming for your event how much money do you really make to pay for everybody do you still owe money to the artist uh, how much money do you lose you still owe money to this artist right and then the artist gonna go and don't go more to that event because i didn't pay for didn't get paid for that event the choice was yours dumbass bitch all right so there you go Hey, shots fire. I was nice. I didn't even say the name of the event. Look at that. I could have just said it right now. I want to say it. But I'm going to hold my Michael Jackson next comment. <laughs> the organizer is watching like. <laughs> Nigga, don't worry. I, 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 I keep you in my pocket right now. I control where I'm gonna take your heart level. Beat, nigga, beat. <laughs> boogum, 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 boogum. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm being so bully. I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. So bad. Mm -mm, sorry. All right, so there you go. Mm -hmm. Douglas Lee Ortiz is in the building. Oh, my nigga. All right, yo, yo, okay. I'm about your comment on this shit. Get the popcorn ready. That's my boy. I was waiting for you, my brother. How you doing? All right. Dansky Zomba with nice people all night. Make the life better day by day. That's my brother from Cuba. Always natural. Always real. There you go. So, Matthew, what's up, my brother? Josh, man. Shots fire. Shots fire, my brother. You already know. Ra ta 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 the American way. <laughs> All right, so Chica, I'm back. All right, welcome back. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Lona Catherine. I think that taxi dancers should have a certain skills level so that they can dance with other um with uh with everyone both advanced and beginners of course there are women with skills but there are more women than men dancing so if they are not coming as taxi dancers it means they are not going they're going somewhere else as taxis Ryan, you, you don't make sense. Uh, skip next one. Right. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like, oh, no, no. Uh, Lorna, Lorna, we're still with you, girl. Yeah. My nigga Ryan. Mm -mm. No, you don't make sense. Yeah. Adibadabi. I stay hot and fly with us <laughs> with that suit. Holds the sweat in brother. Just saying, no, my brother. That shit don't hold the sweat. That shit collect the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that shit collect the sweat. Take your jacket off, my brother. Take your jacket off. But you have the African suit, so that's different. That's called a boo-boo. That motherfucker is light as fuck. That thing don't have like five, six, seven layers. Keep that up, all right? So, my brother, there you go. Um, Ailey, there's a time and place for teaching. Is not <laughs> the social or the dance floor. <laughs> Uh, Ellie, you, Ellie, you smooth. Ellie went with that white saying. Yeah, yeah. There's a time and place for teaching. It's not the social <laughs> or the dance floor. All right, so that's not the time. Go to the Santos, North Carolina, and you can learn some classes, bitches. Hey. <laughs> All right. Ha! Limousine. Limousine fucking dances. <laughs> there you go. Niggas in the suits. All right. Yeah. Uh, my brother from Cuba, yes, Ashley, dead, she's dead, yeah, uh, Root, yeah, that's Root, that's my girl, Hot and Tree, <laughs> Hot and Tree, please suit Tarasina Night. <laughs> uh, we call it New York, New York. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god she did so much shots fire right here all right so belly what's up girl what's up how you doing man diana dying agree no jacket no jacket take that kung fu shit off all right there you go now more people will see you in cuba because you say many important things to, for new dancers okay Mwah. you already know cuba yeah Yeah, Julie from YouTube. Thank you so much for commenting. The truth being shared. Let the let the truth be told. Okay, let the fakes get exposed. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh damn, that wall flower is a lot of fucking shit. All right, all right. Yeah, let me see. Uh, okay, so, yeah, yeah, wallflower. That was the translation for Julie right now. Wallflower is a person who, um, who because of shines and, um, shyness and un unpopularity or lack of a partner, remains at the side at the party or dance. Oh, shit. That's a wallflower. Nice to know. Thank you. That, that uh, every time we're learning a new thing thank you julie for letting me know and teresa what's up teresa in my opinion uh, it is uh, organizer responsibility to show and bring the best to all attendees festival should be about music and dance and about well uh, picked up workshops festivals it is about bring awareness teach uh, show the right way uh, and fun but I am afraid many just forgot about this many very basic fundamental uh, fundamental okay so uh, now it's not about dancing it's about the looks true and um, it's not about fun on the dance floor it's about show off true many people rather do not go as not, do not feel confident in pretty uh, do not feel confident or pretty enough uh, now let's ask do taxi dancers help this situation or is it just worse worse Wars! <laughs> there you go, my girl. You get Chris. Um, Krista, what's up? Kizomba, uh, leading lady, some of the best social dancers. Shots fire! Shots fire! That's true. Flav is better than everybody. All right, so there you go. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying, you saw her in Boston. She did a demo with Wendy. She killed all these niggas. She killed all these niggas. All right, so there you go. Iron, that's my brother. I've never been once gone to a Kizomba festival and know who uh, who the taxi dancers are. The idea seems silly to me. I go to dance and I dance with everybody. If a festival or a social is going to have taxi dancers, how about stick a taxi sign on their head so we actually know who the taxi dancers are? <laughs> and we go back to the Beyonce picture. Let me move to the side so that, so that that way next time you see a taxi they will look exactly like let's go wait a minute the picture is coming Aaron the picture is coming cha cha Look at this motherfucker. This is exactly how these motherfuckers should look like when we go to a dancing floor. Next outfit for the taxi dancers. There you go, my niggas. This is your fucking outfit so that we actually can see who you are, nigga. Free taxi dancers walking, looking motherfuckers on the dance floor. That's how you should look. Look at that. Beyonce motherfucking dancers. All right. There you go. Muchas gracias. And that was for you, my brother. <laughs> Douglas D. Ortiz. Ruth, call me. <laughs> Ruth, Douglas, when I have that Tarrasinha section. All right. Midnight at home. All right. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, straight to the point. 
Boom! All right, so Ruth, thank you for complimenting. You already know. Pierre is there. Thank you, bro. You already know. Erica is there. Thank you. All right, we're going to finish this thing uh, real soon. Okay, so Douglas Ortiz, he dropped something. If organizers can bring in a crowd, they should throw events. Taxi dancers is a stupid term for cheap motherfuckers who don't want to pay. That's my nigga right there, right now. We don't need these people or uh, in our events because they are the same people who won't buy a drink in a packed hotel room with 10 people per room. But put this message right there. Put this message, JP. Oh, my God. Dogs, he just comment right now. Douglas Lee Ortiz, my God, I'm gonna repeat this motherfucker for you. This is my nigga right there. This is my nigga. I'm actually going to see Douglas Lee Ortiz this year, this year, this year in D12 Detroit. We're gonna be party, my nigga. We're gonna be party. Oh my God. J JP, you're gonna come to me because we're gonna do a live in Detroit right there with this nigga right here. If organizers can bring in a crowd they should throw they shouldn't throw events if you can bring in a crowd motherfucker you shouldn't be able to throw events thank you so much stealing other people crowd all right taxi dancers is a stupid term for cheap motherfuckers who don't want to pay it's true motherfuckers don't want to pay all right we don't need these people in our events because they are the same people who don't buy a drink in a packed hotel room and they pack a hotel room with 10 people per room fuck taxi dancers the fuck you sign used to used to be like this before <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Chica, say something. Queen Melanie, ladies be be bringing the fire, leading and following at most festivals. That that one, I agree with you, girl. Jen, you say the best dancer should be an ex expert who bring the uh, the beginners to the dance like an expert, uh, no matter what she or age or look or size. That's that's true. Uh, Newton say, if I cannot invite you. <laughs> For free, as an <laughs> honorary guest, so for sure I don't need <laughs> your ass as a taxi dancer. <laughs> All right, that's my brother right there, my people. We're gonna live. Yeah, yeah. We we're gonna listen, listen. We go, you we guys, please go to. Go to your doctor. No, no, listen. F to, to make this show happen, my people, all we need to do is, is two things, my people. Uh, actually, three things. Please, go to the Dr. Kizomba website. If you, did, if you didn't saw all this show, we have the show right now on Dr. Kizomba. You know, subscribe. If you, if you want to take Kizomba classes or something like that, subscribe to our, our you know, uh, Dr. Kizomba Learn, all right? So you can learn Kizomba beginning, intermediate, and advanced. We got the packages. And we also have a VIP. We also offer you free classes on, the, on our website, my people, okay? So that's a way. And... And, and we need that money, my people, okay? So we, we, we here making this thing from the scratch. Me and my team, you already know, we are working together from beginning, from the scratch. You know you know me. I'm a simple motherfucker, unapologetic, and you know me as I will, but I possess some Reeboks. All right, so, <laughs> so now, but my people, the next thing that, that we really need you for to, to do is help us to get our YouTube feed up. Please go on YouTube, uh, subscribe on the Dr. Kizomba on YouTube, actually just subscribe you know click like uh, click on your notification button so that that way you can get th those notifications on your phone when we're starting a show we're gonna do this show always at this time you know and we want your support and please do one more thing go to facebook and like us on facebook too and but, but i'm asking this because the more likes we get the more we can keep right here giving you guys the truth this topic was very important and we actually gonna tell you this was the topic 
topic most viewed so far that we did all right and uh, we're gonna continue bringing you these hot topics every single week on the your boy dr kizomba show and as well music so that that way you guys can listen to that good nice kizomba on the spot and we're gonna promote the events that we in if you in montreal you already know you got the kitaba social tomorrow you always got baila con gusto and it's your boy dr kizomba an apologetic motherfucker i'm gonna have to leave you right now right here all right so please go to youtube like the pages like my team you know my team is always here for me and like you always there for me okay muchas gracias my people de corazón is your boy dr kizomba ndoto <laughs>